So you want to get better at descenders, I'll give you five tips to get better in a pretty quick time actually, uh, depending on how good you are already. So basically, especially for a lot of new players, I don't see them playing a lot of the career. There is a lot of Xbox people in this lobby currently, um, but I mean that's a good sign, I never really see that. Uh, these are probably obviously all people starting out because most people don't play the Highlands after uh, getting Career Plus and Career Plus is done by getting 100,000 points in total over your entire time of playing Ascenders. Um, it, you don't, it doesn't matter if you get to, if you do like from start to finish, you know, Highlands to the Peaks and do the boss jump. I don't think that is a factor in it, I'm pretty sure it is just 100,000 rep, that's the only time. Uh, total rep ever unlocks anything for you is career plus and then that gives you the ability to farm rep and items uh, if you're really up for that but this is just a si simple thing ride the highlands because it's such a beginner friendly area you will get better a lot faster riding the bike parks isn't useful only because of the fact that they're preset lines and they're always going to be the same when you ride them uh, the good thing about Descenders is that it's procedurally generated maps, so every map that you play uh, most likely will be different, uh, unless you're very lucky and you come across the same map in, uh, twice, which is like probably one in a million, but you know, it's whatever if you do. Uh, I suppose you could win the lottery that day as well, but you never know. Uh, it, the only reason I say ride the Highlands is because of the fact that it is always so random and I do see some people for some reason messing up simple jumps like these ones they'll go off the edge and crash or they'll be too slow and try and do a flip and die like you shouldn't be at that point where you are crashing a simple jump you should have at least a general skill to be better and genuinely the best way to do that is just by going through the highlands over and over again it's a really simple way to farm the low key the like the low rep items and just going through in general if you're trying to get better and you are trying to do full runs i definitely recommend uh, skip boss jumps if you're trying to go from start to the finish just skip some of the boss jumps no one really minds and no one really cares plus if you do it on the on the uh, highlands jump you uh, get a mask out of it so chicken head if you really care but you know, it's whatever. Next up is manage your speed. A lot of people really don't understand what they're doing when they're going as fast as they are. Uh, definitely break before corners. Most of the time you're not going to be sending it in full, especially when they have like their berm, I suppose you could say, uh, which is just like the train that's been dragged up. It doesn't act like a berm. You can't just send it into it and you'll be okay. You really do need to break because it's more of just a corner with a lump on the end. It doesn't really work the same way. Uh, definitely learn how to slide as well. Sliding is super useful only because it gives you the ability to tighten up your turns and be a lot faster. And you know, it gives you a free bonus of a few points. It's pretty simple, like honestly. Same thing with mini boss jumps. If you're going around and you're seeing a mini boss jump as you saw earlier with the castle, I messed it up. You can definitely die a lot there. I've died a lot there. Uh, just crashing on that castle boss jump because it's very annoying because you get launched up and then it will like launch you onto the little blocks that are at the top and you'll land on it and you'll probably bail that's just an unnecessary loss of life it happens i know i've done it many times so don't worry uh, you just try and skip it honestly you don't really need to do them i mean you can if you want to overall well in the end it will make you get better at the game because you're challenging yourself making it a lot harder for yourself to play the game so to be honest doing that would probably help you out more than you think Getting comfortable riding is one that I just want to put across because a lot of people aren't. They are just trying too hard to do cool tricks or whatever and it's causing them to die a lot and you shouldn't really be doing that. If you're not comfortable riding in this game, just try and ride and go from start to finish within the lines instead of going off path and ending up dying or something. Next one I also want to mention, uh, this, pro this probably isn't five, but I don't really care. I'm just trying to get all the tips that I can think of in my head across, and obviously I've written some down. It's definitely, this one is very important. You see the task up in the top right corner that I just completed. If you are struggling to do that and you're losing more lives trying to gain one life back, just stop doing the task. If it's going along without, lose, uh, without letting go of the accelerator and you're like, oh, I'll probably die here if I don't let go and slow down, then just slow down. It's not worth the life loss. I mean, if you die once and then get it afterwards, uh, then you, get, you regain that life back. 
that's fair enough okay that's okay but even so you shouldn't be dying anyway so make sure that you aren't risking your neck for one silly little life you've already got that one life so keep it and keep it active when people ask about uh, like taking impact or landing from bigger jumps it really is a gamble most of the time if you're in the actual career if people are asking this about the career it is usually down to that single perk that I have at the start. You see the one that looks like a little mountain bike wheel with an arrow pointing down? That one increases the amount of uh, force that your bike can take before you bail. That is genuinely mostly what will keep you alive. Other than that, you can't really control it. It is just, oh, I've fucked up, I've gone too high, and now I'm gonna crash. The only other thing that you can do, it doesn't always work, uh, but it, you can try it and sometimes it will save your life, sometimes it doesn't though, is hold up on the right stick, so tuck your bike up and bring it to you, because when you land for some reason it gives you a little tiny impact boost, so you should be able to land it again, uh, and you should be fine. Stuff with a boss jump like this, uh, going off to the side is uh, due to the speed wobbles that you get from going at such a high speed, and unless you've got the perk, the speed wobbles will always be there. It's something that I'm not controlling, I was trying to turn to the right and nothing happened, but I landed on the very edge of the ramp. It is just luck, and if you're struggling to do the boss jump, um, like the Forest of the Highlands one, you can just drive around it, it's okay, no one really minds. If you're skipping it, then it's okay, you're just conserving your lives and trying to go further, that's all good, because what you're trying to do is just progress in the game. A lot of people when they're just riding the bike parks, they pick up some skills, yes, but they don't pick up the core skills to just be a better rider, especially if you try uh, other bike parks that have different sort of trails that aren't jump lines, like if you're not doing whiplash on Stoker and you're actually like riding something else, let's say Rock and Roller, uh, that one's a bit more of a technical line and a lot of people might die there only because of the fact that it's not made up of just constant big jumps, it's actually made up of like little skinny sections and you've got little challenges to ride across and whatnot. That is where other skills come into play because having the ability to control how much you turn by just tapping the stick rather than holding it to the right and left where people just end up driving off the edge because they're trying too hard to turn and stay on rather than just tapping it and keeping themselves on. You only need to make small micro movements to keep on a skinny and just keep going slow. You don't have to send it right across the skinny, I don't think anyone does that in real life. Uh, there might be some people that do, but you know, it's whatever. I hope all these tips really help people out because a lot of people when they start the game they just want to ride bike park and have glowing bike. That's all people want is hot chip and uh, watch movie. And basically it is just a matter of getting used to the game. Uh, when I dodge trees like that, that is genuinely just experience comes to me slowing down and sliding from side to side is something that I do. It can get you killed, yeah, it will probably get you killed, but it's something that I do to slow myself down just because I've had success with doing it. But yeah, um, I hope all these tips help you. Definitely just practice yourself at the game. Just put yourself in uncomfortable positions, do stuff that you don't want to do, and don't just ride a single jump line to do big tricks. Honestly, I know a lot of other YouTubers that aren't me do that, like if you watch a lot of Sam Table or if you just watch anyone that plays the senders on a one-off, they are just playing the bike parks because, I don't know, I guess that's where the fun is at, you could say. Uh, a lot of people don't really ride this lot. So riding the big jump lines is what people see, so it's what people want to do. But if you want to actually just get better at the game, get cool items and, you know, do whatever else in the game, there is a lot more to it, you know. They've made a whole procedural generation system that's just been overshadowed by the addition of bike parks. Uh, I think that's rather unfortunate because they put in a lot of hard work for to people to stop playing the whole bit that they worked their life, well, quite a few years to make. So yeah, uh, please just... Give the career a go and you'll get some yourself some good items. And when you get to the desert, you got all the videos you need on that one. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe for more tips. If you want any tips or if you're struggling with anything in particular, leave a comment down below. I'll try and answer it. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you a lot later. Have a good rest of your day.